Okay, so we're going to make a mold here, and we're going to do it in the toaster oven. So the first thing I did is I set up the toaster oven at 350 degrees, and by the time I'm done with the mold, it'll be ready to put in there. So first thing you want to do is this is the mold holder, and you want to take, I like to take like a kind of a loose type of sock and fill it with talc. And then you want to pounce it on there. And what this does is it keeps the mold rubber from sticking. And then you want to do it to the inside of the little uh, mold holder frame here. Okay, so the next thing to do is we're going to get our mold rubber. And this particular mold rubber uh, it's very hard, and it, which means that the the durometer number is really high, and it's perfect if you're going to do what's known as a powder separation mold, uh, and that's something where you don't really need to cut it with a scalpel. Uh, you can use powder. We'll use the talc. Uh, they also make a cream you can use. Uh, I don't have any of that, and I don't use it, but it is available. So. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take four of these. So if this mold frame is three quarters of an inch and each one of these is a quarter of an inch, we're going to use four so that we have extra above the mold frame. So for the first one here, we're going to add powder to the back. We're going to place that down. And then the second one is going to fit right on top of that without any powder. And then the next thing we want to do is we take this and you want to slide that through the hole. And then we have this part here and that fits over that. We just place that down just like that. And what we're going to do is I have, these are like the butt of a horse. <laughs> it's kind of a funny looking charm, but I have a couple of these. And so when I inject waxes, I want to be able to inject two at a time instead of one. And so since the legs are open like that, the best place to sprue is off the, the solid section here. And since we're going to do two, we're going to move that forward like that. Kind of push that down and then we're going to take we're going to kind of v these out so that we can get two in here and the great thing about this type of mold rubber it's a, a vulcanizing silicone rubber is that after it's vulcanized and you've taken the mold apart you can actually take a ball burr and I, I will be able to cut the rest of that sprue in without having to go in and solder anything to that. Much, much easier system. And so the next thing is we have, these are mold locks. And what mold locks do is they position the two sides of the flask, or excuse me, the two sides of the mold so that they're together. So. What I did is I took, it's like a screwdriver type um, wrench. It's got a socket end on it. You can either push it in with your thumb, but man, this is so much easier. Just push it down like that. And so we're gonna use, I'm gonna say three mold locks here. Just gonna push them down in there, just like that. We'll get one more over here. You don't want to be too close to the side and you don't want to be too close to your piece. There, so we'll pop that in there. Make sure they're kind of straight up and down so they don't tip on you. Okay, so the next thing, we're gonna take our powder. We're gonna powder the whole thing here. And then we're gonna take our next piece of mold rubber, and we're going to powder it like that and put that powdered side 
down. Sometimes you got to wipe off your hands. And then the last thing we're going to do is take the other piece of mold rubber and it's going to sit on top of that just like that. And this part's going to get powdered. Then we're going to take the top part here. We're going to powder it. We're going to place that down. Put the wing nuts on. So what you want to do is you want to tighten these down so that they come out fairly even. If you do them a little at a time on each one, you can pretty much get them to, uh, to go down evenly. And if you turn it on its side, you can kind of see how even it is. Uh, the, mold, <laughs> the mold's actually really crooked, so I'll have to get a screwdriver and straighten that. Um, but anyways, what you want to do is it doesn't have to touch. You could have, say, an eighth of an inch, maybe a little more of mold rubber along the edge here, uh, and you're good. So you don't have, there's no way you're going to push it all the way down. You only want to do this with your hand. Just hand tighten it down. You don't want to use a wrench. Just, just like that. And at this point, this is ready to go in the toaster oven. And then we'll do a second uh, video. All right, thanks.